Mathematical morphology is a tool for image processing. It does not serve to a single purpose, but instead can be used in many steps of image processing, enhancement, and also analysis. This technique uh, allows for analysis and processing of geometrical structures in general. So although we are going to see it to digital images in this course, it can also be applied to other uh, data such as graphs, surface matches, meshes, solids and other. This technique concerns the study of sets. So it's based on mostly set theory. Uh, in order to uh, process images, we have to define the objects of an image as sets. The, mo the most simple scenario is to study binary images. In this case, we are going to define those binary images as a set in Z2. That means uh, we have b-dimensional integers, usually defining the white pixels of an image. So we are, we are going to define just the white pixels and then the complement of it are um, going to be the black pixels. Each element is a vector with the coordinates of the pixels. So instead of having uh, the regular representation in which we have a matrix and then um, define each position of the matrix to have an intensity, in here, the theory requires us to, um, to model the image so that we uh, store basically or, or we consider only uh, the coordinates. We can also apply a similar definition to gray level images. However, we, have, we, we need a third dimension because we have to store both the coordinates but also the intensity values because we cannot find easily the complement in uh, as it was in the case of binary images we need some definitions before we uh, can go into the algorithms so uh, i'm going to start with uh, binary images so given two sets a b in this case those are uh, we, we are going to use that as examples digital images we can define union intersection complement and difference and then we have some uh, mathematical notation here. Um, take our time to uh, take a look at, the, at those equations. But basically, as you can see here, the complement is all elements x in which x does not belong to A. So basically what I'm doing is inverting the image in, the, in that case. Um, also, difference is every element that, well, difference for, um, A difference with B is basically a set difference so in this case all elements of a and then uh, union with the elements that are not in in b that can also be written as the intersection between a and the complement of b so let us take those images as examples so the first the left hand side is a and the right hand side b and let us um, show those um, operators. So A and B, if I take the union of both A and B, what we have are the white pixels for both, the intersection, as in Seth theory, the complement of B, so it's, um, it doesn't have a border here, but please uh, imagine here the border of this image, so we, it is contained in, in here. And then the difference, uh, A minus B. So what we are basically doing is taking A and then removing the white pixels that um, are contained in both A and B. So with that, we can also define two other operators that are important for the definition of morphological um, operations. The first one is translation. Basically, what uh, we have here is a shift uh, in, in Z here. So we have all elements um, C, in which uh, C equals to A 
A belongs to A capital A, plus Z, which is the shift, and A has to belong to um, capital A. And the reflection is B hat. It, it is uh, an X value in which X is minus B. So it, it is a reflection in, in, in the, um, uh, with respect to the origin of the, of the object. So let us take this um, object here as an example. Uh, so the reflection, it is basically a reflection along the origin of the, the uh, object. At and the translation is basically some um, shift of this object along um, the contained space. Because we are modeling the images as sets, we can also apply other operators such as logical operators, not and or exclusive or and combinations of those. So we can use all of that to make morphological operation operators and then process images. In terms of mathematical morphology, the element that we are going to use to process images are what are, uh, are called structuring elements. The structuring elements are basically shapes that we are going to define and then uh, those shapes will modify or, or um, will, will allow the, the, the operator to, to modify the image. It uh, can be, we, we can draw a parallel between the structuring element and the filter in the case of convolutions. So when we design different filters and then use a convolution, the convolution itself is a fixed operation. But when we use different filters, we have different effects on the image. And in this case, when we use different structuring elements, we have different effects on the, on the image as well. So um, in terms of when we think about morphology or mathematical morphology, it is uh, closely related to study of shapes. So that's why we have those elements here, such as the cross, the square, uh, a line, a um, th this is a, uh, a, um, a diamond, yeah, uh, it is called diamond, uh, but we all can also have, for example, a disc, a star, and other elements with different shape. Basically, what uh, we use to code that when we are going to implement is a matrix, a zero one matrix, binary matrix in which when we have the structuring element uh, it is one and uh, otherwise zero so we have two basic opera operators for mathematical morphology those are the erosion and the dilation let us start with erosion and dilation in terms of binary images the definition, the mathematical definition of erosion, usually we use that uh, circle with a minus here. So when we use, we take A and then we erode it using B. Um, the definition is that we have the set of all, all points Z so that the reflection version, the, re the reflection reflected, sorry, version of B is contained in A. So um, what this means uh, is uh, very closely related to the convolution. Remember, uh, in the convolution, what we do is we take a filter, we, uh, we have the reflected version of the filter in the convolution, and then we shift that filter through the image, computing um, products and sums. So linear combination, local linear combinations. In this case, what we have is, is very similar, but we are also um, we are also shifting the this the element B throughout the uh, the set A, and then we use the reflection the reflected version of it. So let us say that we have this element A here, this uh, square that has size D, so the lateral size D and we use B as a structuring element. This dot here defines the center or the anchor of this uh, structuring element. Uh, and this object has size D over four. 
when we perform the erosion of A by B, what we are doing is we have to consider all values that are completely, all values of B, that are completely contained in A. So when we shift it, uh, we, we shift it through this object here, when the object B is on the border, we have elements that are not contained in the actual object, so ob uh, elements that are outside the object, so then we have this erosion. Uh, and when we consider, for example, this object, this structuring element B as a line, so this is much more, uh, the, the size, the lateral size is D, and the other one is D over 4, then when we perform an erosion, look, uh, the resulting uh, object is eroded mostly in this direction, so in this vertical direction. Let us take this image as an example. So uh, we start with this image here, so the on the left hand side, and then we are going to use a structuring element disk of different sizes and then erode this. So this is a structuring element of size 11 by 11, sorry, this first one here, it's eroding the first one by with a 11 by 11 and then we have 15 by 15 and finally 45 by 45 so it's it's really uh, intense in terms of the size of the structuring element so it removes everything uh, apart from the central object so erosion uh, is a is a useful tool to um, to for example remove small objects and retain larger objects. The dilation is um, an operator that is the, the, the it is the duo of the erosion. In this case, the dilation of A by B is uh, defined by this circle with a plus, and then it's uh, all shifts of Z so that B, the, the, the reflected version of B, and A are overlaid by at least one element. So in the case of erosion, it should contain completely the structuring element. And in the case of uh, dilation, uh, if the structuring element is uh, overlaid at least by one element, then we have uh, the dilation. So is it, it is the opposite. So instead of eroding the element, what we are doing here is to uh, amplify it. So it's, uh, we are increasing the size of the, of the object. With this structuring element, small structuring element, we uh, produce a small border, but with a larger structuring element in the vertical direction, the dilation in the vertical um, axis here is much larger. This is an example of um, of using a the operators erosion and dilation, and this is basically a dilation. This is written erosion here, but it's wrong. So we get, for example, in, uh, let's say we have uh, scanned a text, some text, and we want, we want to perform OCR, which is optical character recognition. So we want to recognize the, char the characters there. Um, so it is in, in, in this first version here, the original version, the uh, letters have um, gaps in between. So because of those failures, the o OCR algorithm may fail. So we can apply um, dilation with the, this object, this uh, structuring element here and then fill these gaps, which makes it easier for the OCR algorithm to, rec to correctly recognize each character. So as I said, the dilation and erosion are dual operators with respect to the complement and reflection of sets. So when, when we have um, the erosion of 
uh, A and B. If we get the complement of that, we can achieve it by taking the complement of A and then eroding, sorry, uh, dilating it by the reflection of B. And similarly, if we dilate A by B, uh, we get the complement of that. We can then uh, relate it to the erosion by taking the complement of A and reflecting it, sorry, and uh, um, eroding it with the reflection of B. When the structuring element is symmetric, then uh, we, we have the same, like so the B is equals to B hat. So in this case, the dilation of, a, of the object can be obtained by the erosion of the background, so the complement, and the erosion of the object can be obtained by the dilation of the background, that is the complement.